The Cumberland Building Society announced it will be stepping up its support in partnership with the Cumbria Community Foundation. We work with businesses, individuals, other charitable trusts and families who want to set up funds to make a difference across Cumbria. So we work with them and then we distribute that money to charitable organisations and individuals. It's our 20th anniversary this year and in that time we've given out over £44 million. The Building Society's increase in donation is intended to help support projects that directly relate to their business of finance. Ideally, it's to prioritise those that are promoting financial well-being. So one in eight households across Cumbria have an income of less than £10,000. So what the Cumberland Building Society found, uh, would like to do would be to um, increase people's households' income. And they can do that by supporting charitable organisations who offer that support. It's fantastic because obviously we've worked with them since 2011 and then for them to turn around and increase that donation, they've seen the impact what their, what smaller grants can make and a charity doesn't have to look about for funding. They know they've got this grant for the next three years. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely fantastic that they're, that they're doing this. We call up with the Cumberland to find out their reasoning behind the donation increase wanted to make a bigger contribution to the community in which we're serving. So what we decided to do was to review what we be, had, had been funding over the last number of years. And that had been a fixed sum of £100,000 over the last um, five to ten years. And what we felt it was important to do was re-look at that. Uh, things have changed over five or ten years. You can't buy the same things for the same amount of money that you could do then. And when we looked at it, we said we should make it a percentage of the money that we make by serving our community and give that back then to fund projects in the community. This will be the first year of implementing the increase to the foundation. Well, the percentage we've decided on is um, a minimum of 1.5% of our uh, uh, profits. So effectively that means in round terms, last year we gave a fixed £100,000. Uh, for 1920 the amount is £170,000. So I think it's a quite a meaningful increase, uh, but really importantly it's about that contribution back to the community. We're based in the community, we come from the community, so we want to give back to the community. They say that the Building Society has been looking to support a more varied range of causes within Cumbria. One of the things we noticed when we had the lower level of contribution is that we were contributing to quite a fragmented group of community groups. So effectively that sum was being uh, broken down into very, very small donations, maybe of 100 or 500 pounds. And there's nothing wrong with that. But actually what we wanted to do was to step up and provide larger amounts of money to some meaningful projects but over two or three years rather than just on a, on a once-off basis. And they believe that the partnership with the foundation is important for their practice. So through our alignment with the Cumbria Community Foundation and we think that alliance is really important because they know where the needs are in Cumbria better than we do quite frankly that we can use their expertise of knowing where the need is with our ability to provide the funding and therefore have this perfect match between you know, their knowledge of the community and our ability and willingness to fund it. Uh, we will still be able to fund the very small projects and we'll be doing that through a carve out of that fund where the first 25,000 will actually be distributed to our branch managers for some smaller projects. But the real meaty projects, it's probably fair to say, will be done through our alliance with the Cumbria Community Foundation. The Cumbria Community Foundation was happy to be given the news of the increase as it will enable them to give aid to even more valuable initiatives in our region. Kira McFadgen, That's TV.